All right. So, beat the game. Now we're gonna do some, you know, achievements because I had planned to play this today anyway, so I might as well. None of them look particularly hard. So, let's see. A lot of this is in the Flying Fortress, actually. But you know what? Before we do that... I need to find my boat. I'm gonna do a bit of a weird task first. Here in my boat. So supposedly, there's a hidden game here that I can unlock by. What I just did was I held the confirm button, which for me is X, and while holding it, I pressed back the back button. Uh, 50, 55 times up. So doesn't seem like I've pressed it that many times. Which for me is circle, so I have to do both of those things. And it seems to have unlocked puzzle or 15 puzzle. So uh, let's give it a go. I have no idea how this works. Oh, am I trying to like order these? Maybe though. They are lighting up. Okay, so there's 16 squares. So I guess, you know, we leave this one blank at the end. But that's not helping me get the four up there. Yeah, I don't... Do I have to solve it? Is that... Do I, or is just unlocking it good enough? Because this is not fun. <laughs> like, I can't get this four to where I want it to be. Yeah, I'm not really experienced in this sort of thing. Maybe I need to solve, like, the middle first? I don't know. Like, slider puzzles aren't fun. Like, can we be honest? Does anybody ever think slider puzzles are fun? Because I sure don't. There's a technique. This is, like, a legendary ninja art. <laughs> I have a friend who loved them. Well, your friend... As gifts, I will never possess. What do you even get for beating this? Probably nothing good. Oof. Okay, well I guess I'm having to look this up. You're all gonna get a nice look at my desktop again. Let's look up my phone, actually. Maybe my phone would be quicker. In the Pixel Remaster, there is no timer and all the prizes are removed. To complete this, grant the achievement. Ah, crap. So I do have to do it. Whew. All right, so let's see. How to solve slide puzzles. Because I don't give a shit. There we go. Holy shit. That took like literally 25 minutes. Continue? I don't think so. What does that mean? Like I wanna play again? Cause I sure don't. Well that was hopefully the most annoying thing we have to do. 
All right, we gotta go make Excalibur. That is something I have not done. So I need to go to the Flying Fortress. I think we will Flying Fortress for a lot of things, but... way to just like go to the sky fortress or do I have to go through the mirage tower again you know Floor two. There is one enemy in here that I could find, uh, but it seems like it's also in the Flying Fortress, so... Here's something- there's the thing I'm missing. Alright, well that's a new enemy anyway, so... Let me like, check off my list here. I did that. I did the puzzle game. Excellent. I'm hoping to have the flying um, get Excalibur first before I go beat up Mr. Secret Boss Man. It's kind of what I want to do. every time a dude. Alright, so here in the Flying Fortress, I'm going to look for the Adamantite, whatever it's called. Um, if I can run into... Hmm, actually, I can wait. Nope, nope. I need to get to the second floor for right now. Where are the dang darn stairs? Okay, they're up there.
Yeah, your stone! A few gold needles. Here you go, friend. Alright, so there- I do recall, now that I've looked up where it is, that there was a room I missed because there was no visible chest in it. There we go. Adamantite. So it might seem silly, but we are gonna just leave. where that is again with my unbelievable navigation skills okay what room were you in mr. smithy here you go Is this adamantite? Hoots! I'll use this to make the finest sword you ever wield. Apparently this is better than Matsumune on a whole. So Matsumune is probably gonna go towards um I think Metapod, I guess. Done in all my years I've never crafted a finer sword. Go on, take her, she's yours. You obtain Excalibur. Hooray. All right, you're gonna get a scalloper now. And you are going to get Masamune. Neat, that is something done. Now I might as well go get my chests. One of them, let's see. Where do I want to go first? I missed a few places. Yeah, apparently there's a Western Keep I never got all the chests in, so let's go get that. Okay, there they are in that room right there. We gotta go up and around, all over the place. Monsters. Let's see, at this point, you know, probably uh, not gonna be much of a challenge. Yeah. Okay, but I wanted to make sure I had Excalibur before I did the um, secret boss, so... A falchion. I think I've had a falchion before and it wasn't great. Not that I expect to find anything in these chests to be that great at this point, but... So we have Masamune, Thor's hammer, Excalibur... Only Ryzen doesn't have any, like, fun weapons. I'm lazy like that. Okay, that is Western Keep done, so let me like take some more stuff off my list. Pardon the minimizing screen.
All right. So, I need to go to Mount Glug. I know it's not called Mount Glug. Silken Shrine for one chest and Cavern of Earth. What a Cavern of Earth. Okay, it's right across the ocean here. Away we go. Alright, so there are three chests in this lovely place. We gotta duck into a room to make sure that there isn't any on this floor. does not appear that I've missed any in here on this floor. All right, let's go down. a coincidence, but I can't help but think that whenever I check my map, it somehow increases the chance of me running into an encounter. I kind of what it feels like sometimes. Alright, so from here... Okay, there is one room down there. It's like, oh, there's one room over there as well. So let's go ahead and check it. Okay, Mr. Bat, could you please move? Thank you kindly. Look how far we've come. We can just take all, almost everything in one hit nowadays. Mr. Bat, please move. There we go. Here's the three chests I'm missing. The Coral Sword. I don't even know what that does. Probably nothing great, but it's okay. Okay. Well, that's done. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't... I shouldn't have left. Alright, so... Me and my ignorance, I forgot that we're also here, you know, to look for an enemy, a specific enemy. So hold on. So let's go specifically to the floor it can be found on. It can be found on floors, looks like three, four, and five. That won't take me anywhere. I had to go like, okay. We're looking for an uh, Otra jelly? Some of those like red blob things. Like those different colored blobs, but this one in red. So from here on, we should hopefully run into it at some point. 
It is a rare encounter though, so it might take a few minutes. Or longer than a few minutes, I guess it depends. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna kinda run around. Oh look, there it is. Excellent. Okay, now we can leave. Now we can leave Cavern of Earth. Now we're done. Good thing you have like a bunch more exit spells left. Okay, let me check those two things off my list. Cavern of Earth, check. Okay. Let's go here. It's only fire cat fire thing. May not be able to land my airship near it. Might have to like land somewhere else and take the canoe, but Oh no, never mind, we can land right in front of it. Alright, so there's one <laughs> one chest in here that I had missed. This place used to be a bit intimidating, but that was before. Okay, right, there's like a whole bunch of um, chests in this one. Is there any that I missed? It doesn't look like it. doesn't look like there's any closed chests in this big old room. Alright, so let's move on to the next floor. Doesn't appear to be any chests at all here. There's just the stairs over there. Like a lot of nothing here as well. Oh, there's rocks there. Fooey. Oh no, never mind. We can just go around like this. Honestly, the sunken shrine is the one I don't really feel like going to. Considering it was there yesterday, it feels a little too recent that we were having to explore it. of doors here. Hmm. Don't see one here either. Okay, well I guess we'll just uh move along. Drop some high potions soon, just from all this lava, lava wandering. Okay. What about here? There it is. There you are. Okay, you're on the very left there.
Yeah, we'll be up for the giggles. <laughs> Just a baby fire lizard. All right, here's our chest here. Oh, hold on. Monsters, of course. Boop. Flame mail. Well, that might have been helpful to have before, huh? Oh well. All right, take us out of here, please. Let's fly to like just some like sort of like nearby town. So we can like heal up a little. Sunken shrine. She's quicker, I think, to go this way. Making sure I'm going the right direction. Yep. Okay. Yes, I'm trying to get uh, all the chests. I have one more chest, and apparently it's in the sunken shrine, which is not ideal, but whatever. And then after that, I have uh, two more enemies, not including the uh, secret boss. All right, my favorite, the Sunken Shrine. Oh, goody. I really hope it's, like, something early on, you know? It's right here. Oh, hell yeah. That's like the easiest thing in the entire world. Yes. I don't know how I missed it before, but that's fine. I don't care. That should be all the chests. to use an exit for this one, I don't think. Seems a little overkill. Okay, let's see if we can refresh that page again. Excellent. All right, so I need to find a cobra, which is near Alpine slash Melmond and in the cavern of the earth. Well, I'm not going back in there. So. Either Elfheim or Melmond are really that close. I guess Melmond is closer. So I guess we'll go there. Pff, 
<laughs> that guy was like, oh hell no. I've heard of these guys. Place though, right? Okay. I'm not sure if it would be in the forest parts or the marsh parts. I'm kind of like circling around. Elfheim has similar terrain. If I had to guess, it would probably be more like likely to be in a marsh, like a giant snake. It's amazing, we can still get ambushed at this point. You'd think with our hero senses, something wouldn't be allowed to sneak up on us like that. Is it a rare enemy or something that just doesn't want to pop up? Maybe it is. I'm trying to see if there's like I can find something that's a little more concrete about other than like near Melmont slash Alfheim. Here we go. Never mind, found it. Excellent. Alright, so for this other one, we can just go to the Flying Fortress. Apparently you can also find it in rivers, but since we have to go to the Flying- Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Since we have to go to the Flying Fortress anyway, for the other one, we might as well just do it for both. There'd be sandworms in my way.
Other than the slider puzzle, this has been moving on, moving along pretty smoothly. We'll probably end up being a short stream, depending on how long it takes for me to beat the big boss at the end of this. I mean, maybe it's even harder than the uh, last guy, so. Though I do have a spiffier weapon now. I'm like a solid level or two higher. Maybe that'll make a difference. How many high potions do I have? I probably should have bought some more, but I have 55 still. Eh, that's fine. That's probably plenty. Look at these wyverns and worms. They don't have hands. Was actually decent. All right, back at the Sky Fortress or Flying Fortress, whatever you want to call this place. Looking for floor four. And the stairs are right just below me. It becomes so much easier to navigate when you're not trying to like look in every room. You're just trying to get to the next part. It's like right over there. Okay. All right, here we are, floor four. Let's see what it's over there. That's where this uh, next floor is. Well, let's see if we can find it before then. Actually, let me quick save from all the stuff I've been doing. There we go. Level 53s for everybody. Here we go. Here's the enemy. Not a lot of hunting, really. Like, it hasn't been that bad. So we have one thing left, actually. This entire game already. I need to find the War Mech. Which is on the bridge leading to Tiamat. And it's like a rare encounter, so... It's one of those things where ideally... You know, I'll be at full health when I find it, you know? Yeah, it looks like a bridge, all right. All right, so let's kind of like, you know, buff everybody up a little bit. quick save like this. It's like a 1 in 60 something chance though, so might be here for a hot minute. It does require a little bit of self-control, though, because- Oh! No! No! 
Shoot! I knew this was gonna happen! Well, we found him! Okay. Not the worst turn ever. You do this. You do that, you do that. You... Haste. On rune. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looks like he gains like 100 HP every turn. I don't really care super much. Okay, we need like a big heal though. We need big heal. Okay, you attack two. I'm gonna do a haste on him as well. Cause he's also doing pretty good damage. Oh. Shit. Um. I thought it was gonna take more than that. Okay. I could have probably just auto attacked him to death. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> well, let me check. Because I don't have the pop ups any right now. So let's see. Uh, let's go to my Steam thing for a second. A 100% achievements earned. Feels good. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. You know, it probably would have been harder if it didn't take me so long to find him. I'm gonna go with that. Let's save for real. Hello? Oh, come on, controller. Fine, I guess we'll do it from here. That's weird that I won't let my controller work right now, but you know what? That's fine. This is pretty like victorious music. Because we did everything. There's nothing else to do. Nothing else I can beat up. So that feels nice. Thank you all for watching me play what's essentially my first Final Fantasy game. Look forward to my full thoughts on my other channel, Rising Feathers, link below and at the end of this video. If you'd like to see me play the next game, please give me a follow at Rising Feathers on Twitch, link also below. I have the series behind small follower goals to help spread them out a bit, but support is always appreciated. I look forward to the next one. See ya!